Like I was trying to include this uh, in my vlog and I made, I made a message, so I'm going to add it just before the vlog starts. It's actually a tribute to Bobby Charlin. It was because I was going to these five game, all these masters of tributes that came in, it was actually the one relating to his fife. And it was um, Bobby Charlton was the manager of Preston North End at the time and he was invited uh, for a testimonial for the captain of his fife, uh, John Martis. And he came up and he was praised. All he wanted was his um, petrol money for his journey. And he was highly praised for that. And that probably sums up the sort of guy he was. There was another story that I saw. Uh, I saw him in a photograph in a Scotland jersey. I thought, what? Uh, and again, this is another sort of testimonial. Uh, it was a Scotland 11 versus an England 11. And he played for Scotland. And he scored for Scotland 11 against English 11. What a guy. So I just thought I'd mention that since uh, I was good at his fife and uh, linked to Scotland. Bobby Charlton. Rest in peace. Hello from Methil. I'm here at the home of East Fife. For a quarter-final Fife Cup game, it's uh, between East Fife and Burnt Island Shipyard. How are we doing? Good, yeah, doing all right. I was just, I've got a couple of stories. Where's Ben in disguise? I've not seen him in his <laughs> full light. <laughs> it's full East Fife kit there. Well, well done, how are you doing, Ben? I'm doing all right, all right. And are you brought along your, your grandfather, uh, is it? Uh, he's with me today. Ah, good stuff. So, is it going to be a full East Fife team? Probably not, nah, eh? It's going to be mostly the under 20s, but there's Aye. supposed to be a few main team players. Aye. Pat Slattery's supposed to be playing because he's just coming back for injury, so hopefully we put a few out because, I mean, it's something to go for, I reckon. It's well, a trophy. The thing is, aye, but the thing is as well, Burnt Island Shipyards, I mean, there's what, second division East of Scotland League, this will be a scalp for them. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter what team East Fife put out. If, if they win the day, they'll be... Well, we beat East Fife, you know, so they'll, they'll well, be up for it. Last time East Fife played Burnt Island Shipyard, it was 15 0 to East Fife. So, ah. I think, in what year that was, I think right. it was 2018 or something like that. Right. But well, there you go. Hopefully, we, <laughs> we recreate that scoreline. So, your scarf was the East Fife Cup winners. Right, Scottish Cup winners, 37 38, and then League Cup winners. What's that team East Fife are putting out? But Nevertheless, you guys will be up for it. There'll be a lot of young players, probably. Definitely. And we're um, looking forward to playing against East Fife. Aye, well, the thing is, the guys in my team, there's a mixture of ages, eh? And um, I'm going to give a couple of guys a, a start the day that's no maybe figured as much, eh? Yeah. And so it's up to them to prove to me that they're worthy of starting on Saturday, eh? Aye. Um, I've played against East Fife when I was at Burnt Island Ship years ago and it's a tough game whatever team they yeah, pick, yeah. you know, so it doesn't matter if they've got young boys out or no, they're going to give us a game today, yeah. so it's up to your guys to see how they react. Eh? Yeah, and of course this is an escape from the league, yeah. but but you'll be looking forward to it as I say, because of the experience you were talking about for the, so, uh, some of your younger players. Aye, definitely, there's some guys that have never played uh, against senior teams, eh, so they might be able to step up if they hear a good yeah. game, you never know, you're putting yourself in the shop window here. <laughs> version from the league but what I was thinking and I was speaking to the uh, Burn Island guys about this you know they'll be up for it because you know it's, it's a scalp regardless of what team you put out today yeah absolutely um, and you know our, our lads you know we need to we need to treat them with, with the utmost respect as well you know I've, I've been a player at East Fife and I played against Burn Island in the Fife Cup and uh, you know and, and uh, uh, back in the good old days uh, and it was always a tough game and I, th I expect that again tonight you know they're young they'll have a lot of energy uh, and you know they want to prove that, that you know they're as good as my players and it's up to my players to go and show that they're, they're you know they're in this club for a reason uh, and yeah we're looking forward to the game and hope Hopefully we can, uh, it can be a good game of football. It also gives an, uh, an opportunity for some of you young players to gain a bit of experience as well. Yeah, I mean, we've got a couple of guys that are coming back from injury, so it's great to get them on the pitch and get some game time, you know, including the club captain and one of our longest serving players, Pat Slattery. But we've had a few lads that have been on the bench, they've been coming on and impacting for the first team, and it's their opportunity to, you know, to show us that they should be in the starting team come Saturday, and we've got a big game against them bar in the Scottish Cup. Uh, so it's a perfect opportunity to go and, sh you know, for them to, to prove that they should be starting in, uh, with the first team. OK, you've got the... Is it two of you? The ship Yeltas? Is there mere coming? I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was speaking to you, your drum had broken, so you've got a new drum. Good. Uh, ready for kickoff. East Fife are in their away strip. It's a pink strip, black shorts and shippy are uh, white 
here, white top there, black shorts, black socks. And there's kick off, chippy to kick off. So you've got some uh, sort of these five players. Uh, There's a few. few first team. Yeah. So these Bear Riches is our second choice goalkeeper. Right. Stuart Murdoch is our main captain. Um, Ryan Shaboni he plays on the first team. And Pat Slattery, Gregor Nicholl, Brogan Walls, they are all first, first team. Charlie Murray and Calum Hambrick technically are in the first team but they didn't play very much. But, but it's quite a strong team, isn't it? It's still quite a strong team for it being a five cup match. Aye, aye. But his last time I was here, it was just all under 20s. Aye, aye. There's a corner of the shippy. Is that the first one, is it? Yeah. Oh, there's another timetable for the bar. What's up, everybody?
favor of my huge spell here. Uh, corner. Ah, so we four corners in a row. Oh, good job. Much to report on the half time. What, what do we think? Yeah, I thought uh, his five took a wee while to get going. Uh, I thought uh, Shippy had a few early chances, but they didn't hit the target. But they, no. they got in good positions. Then I felt his five kind of started to take control of the game, started to create chances. I thought the but the Shippy goalkeeper was outstanding. He's pulled off three top class saves yeah. there. Um, to, to keep them at bay, so I'll, I'll square at the break, but it's not been a dull no. uh, goalless uh, first half, it should be quite entertaining in the second half as well. Hi Ben, I know it's towards the end of the first half, East Fife are starting to come into the game more. Well, they, they seem to do that miss games, can I, it's, I think and why many years we've done it, it's just the first 10 15 minutes, we just can't play football and then you just get into it and go attacking. And um, seem to get closer to goal, but we're getting struggling to get up there. It's but Island are sitting back a wee bit, so yeah. hopefully in the second half they can break through the defence and get a goal in. But no looking too promising so far. When you're playing against the uh, Burnley Island Chippy, you didn't have your strongest team. And that can actually work against you, you know. Well, I mean, they didn't always play together, so it's probably going to be harder for them to gel and play properly. But also. Um, it's just a lot of the time these five underestimate junior teams. Hey Ben, I noticed the home fans are in the way end basically, so there was a bit of flooding. Storm Babbitt, was it? So during Storm Babbitt, there was flooding over the seawall. Aye, so that's like behind you, you can't see it's as dark, eh? But the, what? So it wasn't just rain, it was the sea as well. The, it was the rain and the, the waves for the sea, they were really, like, really tall, like five or six stories tall. They came over and kind of just washed over all the turnstiles and uh, they actually flooded all the toilets and the pie stall in the home end. All right. So the pitch was totally fine, but the actual stand itself, uh, I think, still got some sewage water in it. But the, there was right. volunteers that went and cleaned it up, which was good. Uh, saved the club a lot of money for that, but um, it seems to be pretty much clean now. But obviously, it'll probably need a safety check and stuff before they yeah. can open it again. Oh. We were, we were here uh, on Saturday as well, we got chucked in the way end, which, right. I mean, I shouldn't, I don't think there should be any segregated crowds at this level anyway, no, so it should no. just be open at the whole yeah, end. Yeah, I know, that's right. Okay, thanks, Ben. Hey, okay. Coming out with the altars are the way back up the top there.
little substitution for Bonnie Ireland at uh, half time. Huff came number 16, Brother Murray, and number 20, to Robertson, who will come in and play his part.
Jurassic Rubber Channel, and I can use my score. So it's a full time.